Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today is an awesome, awesome day. It's nice and sunny out. It's hot as I don't know what. So I won't be going outside, but I wanted to bring you a collective haul, collective haul, yes, of several things that I brought, uh, bought doing this month. And just to add to my collection, there's a gazillion um, open invites and challenges going on. So I wanted to get some stuff um, to have available for my um, for what I was going to do if I was going to participate in these um, open collabs. So without further talking too much, um, let me show you what I've bought so far in August. Um, to supplement my uh, my already collection that I have, and it's, they're from various places. Oh, my throat is so dry. This is a pumpkin, just a regular foam pumpkin. This was three dollars from a place called um, My Sister's Closet, and I got two of them. There's two, and I'll probably be painting these. I'm sure I'll be painting these. So. Three bucks a piece, not bad. Because I know I bought a foam one, a bigger foam one than this from um, Walmart last year and it was like $9.99. Um, so I thought $3 wasn't bad for that. This one I absolutely love, look at this. It feels like it's wood. And I got it from, from a Goodwill store and it was three dollars um, and it says that it was originally from Kohl's for $19.99 I think it's I don't know if it's wood or not but it's really kind of hard you can see that it's from Kohl's for $19.99 I don't know paint this I kind of like this the way it is tell me what you think I kind of like this the way it is um, everybody recognizes these right all from Dollar Tree. I saw, uh, who went out to Dollar Tree that I saw? I think it was Be My Guest with Denise, who went out and got a bunch of these. So I went back to a Dollar Tree that I haven't been to in a while, and I found they had a few of them. So I got the black, few black and white. This orange and black one is so cute. And this little board is nice. I got two of these. These are all from the Dollar Tree. Another black and white one that I got from Dollar Tree. And this one, also from the Dollar Tree. So I just have them in this stand, which I uh, got from Goodwill, like months and months ago. I just never, I don't think I showed this though, but I got it from Goodwill months ago. Um, haven't decided what to do with them yet. I just have them sitting in here for now. And I think that's cute all by itself. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that or not, but I just wanted to bring it out to display it to you guys. These are coming from Goodwill. Yeah, Goodwill. And it says this came from the Christmas tree shops. And I got these from Goodwill for $2. I got two of them. I think they're candle holders. So I got two of them. a little bigger than the other. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but they're candle holders. Um, I guess you could put plants on them or candles. Can you see these? These are great. I think this was $2 too. Yeah, they both were $2 from Goodwill. And they came from the Christmas tree shops. Huge. And of course these, everybody's seen these. These are from Chris, um, Dollar Tree, excuse me, Dollar Tree. This is the um, the Harvest Thank You Welcome Signs, which 
I plan to use in a DIY. Not sure how yet. This pumpkin kind of replaces one that I used for a fall DIY dupe that was hosted by um, Kenya's Decor Corner and Eclectic Kristen. I used my pumpkin, I had a glass pumpkin like this, and I used it for my fall DIY dupe challenge. So I found this one at Goodwill the other day, and it was $3. The other one I think I paid, I had it so long, but I think I paid like $5 for it. And that was years ago. I bought it at a Goodwill as well. So this one's $3, and I hope it's okay. I only looked at the top of it, so I hope it's in good condition. Everything looks good. I love that um, that DIY fall DIY dude. That was that was a lot of fun. I had all of this stuff at home. I just needed to pull it together and paint. If you haven't seen that um, my fall DIY dupe uh, challenge, go over to um, you know what I'm going to leave a link to it above and um, in the uh, description box, I'm gonna leave a link to it. I had a lot of fun doing that, and um, it was awesome. This is from the Dollar Tree. I think everybody's seen this Give Thanks sign from the Dollar Tree, which I like. I think I'm gonna paint this, though. I don't know what color, but I'm definitely gonna paint it. I, I really hate, the only thing I hate about this is the, the sparkles on it. This stuff just seems to get on everything. I, I don't like that. I really don't like that. But So I think I'm going to be painting that and getting rid of that. Okay, for another project I think I've been thinking about, I went out and I found all of these cutting boards. So I think I have like six. This one was $2. I think they're all from the Goodwill. Almost two dollars. They're all two dollars and three dollars. Oh, this one says four dollars. I'm not sure why. It says four dollars. Some goodwill as well. I went to different goodwills to get these. This one says three dollars. These are really heavy cutting boards. There's another cutting board. This one says two dollars. This is from goodwill as well. And this I really like. Can you see this thing? See how big this is? This is from Goodwill as well. And this was $3 from Goodwill. So, so I have a I have a I have a project in mind. I just have to work it all out in my mind and to make sure I have everything I need before I start. But I mean, there are a gazillion DIY uh, fall challenges going on. I've been keeping them, keeping them on my calendar. I don't know how many more I'm gonna be able to, to participate in, but there are a gazillion out there, guys. If you wanna participate in a fall um, challenge of all kinds, they're out there. Just check. Check your local creators. Those uh, challenges are definitely out there. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, this. I found this at Goodwill, too. I love mugs. But this one's the, the executive decision maker. And it came with a, a little arrow with a suction cup for you to stick it on here. Because the decision, you spin the arrow and it falls on the decision that you're going to make. And the decisions that you could make as an executive is uh, give it a try, yes, trust your gut, ask again, no way, and a definite maybe. So this was $2, and I can't tell where this came from because it's, it's covered up, but it was $2 from Goodwill. 
but I love this. This is so funny. And I may just put this in my office. But, um, and see how it works when I put the arrow on it and spin and see what answer I come up with. Let's see. Ah! Habitat for Humanity. You know, I, I go there every blue moon. But I found these on my way out. This was $8. I love the frame. It's already matted and it has the tulips on it. So I got one. And then I dug down and saw that they had a second one that is similar, but not the same. And this was $8. Again, these are from Habitat for Humanity which I, um, I go to every once in a while. But that I love Habitat. Um, they're so clean. Everything is so clean in there. Plus they have a lot of furniture. Um, if you're looking for like a dresser or something, um, dining room set, their stuff is really clean. I, I like just going in there looking around and stuff. But look, I, I really like this frame. I, I think I like the detail around this frame. And uh, tulips are my favorite flowers. Hint, hint for anyone who wants to send me anything. But these are my favorite flowers. I love tulips, and I love this. And I can't tell from the back where this came from. But I like both of them. So they were $8 a piece from Habitat for Humanity. And I think there's one more thing. Oh, yeah. This suit, this suit is from Jones, New York. Yeah, Jones, New York. I love Jones, New York. So this suit is from Jones, New York. It's a skirt suit. I love the detail on this. Look at this. The detail on this is really nice. Of course it's for winter, but it's going to be so nice. Oh, this suit was uh, seven dollars at um, my sister's place, which is a place that um, their proceeds go to victims of domestic violence. And my local, my sister's place, is having a what's it called? Flea market flip. Uh, next month and if everybody anybody's ever seen flea market flip flip on TV with um, with uh, what's her name Lara Spencer she does a um, she does this flea market flip thing with contestants who go in and um, they go to a flea market and they each buy stuff and whoever ends up uh, with the the um, the highest return percentage uh, wins I don't know how my uh, my sister's place is going to do it but um, I saw some of the rules. The rules were online. It said something about go buy the piece at the, my sister's place, fix it up. Um, you have until September 30th to enter. So I'm thinking uh, I'm going to go back over there and get the flyer or go online. And I'm going to see if, the, if there's anything that they have that to me is worth uh, me fixing up. I mean, it could be something small. Maybe I'll just find... Um, like a shelf or something or um, a small table that I can just DIY paint chalk paint or something but um, the thing is that the proceeds all go to the um, support of victims of domestic violence so I'm, um, I'm all for that but anyway uh, I think that's all I have here um, so I have a lot of stuff it looks like a lot of stuff but it's been purchased throughout the entire month. 
and this was these were purchased like early on this month so um, you know, it looks like a lot but it's not really um, so I'm just going to try to put everything in perspective as I said I have something that I'm going to do I think with these cutting boards I love this thing this is, look at that I love this this is so nice and this pumpkin it has a little things feet on it so it doesn't slide I don't know if I want to paint this but I do like the the lighter uh, color pumpkins this year um, if you saw the uh, the fall DIY dupe that I did I did one that was uh, the pumpkins that were various shades of green and cream so I really like that theme this year and that can carry you on through I mean you can leave that stuff up all year round because it's such a neutral those are such neutral colors now so um, I don't have anything else here I think I think I've looked over everything and I think I've included everything um, thank you guys for riding with me I appreciate your support don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and um, I look forward to seeing everybody and I look forward to seeing everyone's um, collabs and and their projects doing their collabs so um, thanks for riding with me guys and I will see you all in my next production <laughs>